Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share a quick update on how things have been going with my low buy year and some things that have helped me in terms of health and wellness to kind of keep myself focused on other things and other habits that I have kind of introduced into my life to help me keep from shopping and um, making some of the same mistakes that I have made over and over again over the years. So um, it is by the time this video goes up anyway, it will be April, and I, it is sort of the first quarterly update. I'm going to try to do these about every quarter and just kind of let you know how I'm doing since um, I am intending not to buy too much. That, I, <laughs> But if for some reason I have like a shopping spree or something, I will definitely do a video about that. But um, I have been doing really well in terms of the shopping. I have only purchased a couple of things which I have here to talk about. Um, I purchased a fragrance. This is... Um, Valaya from Parfums de Marley, which I talked about in a video. I got this on Poshmark from someone who had purchased it new and then didn't like it, so I ended up buying it off of her and um, got it for a great price, but more importantly, I got it through some um, of my Poshmark credits that I have saved up since I have started selling quite a bit of my fragrances. So um, I'm down about 20 fragrances so far and I've only repurchased one or purchased one. So 19 total, which I think is pretty good um, given that it's only been three months. I don't know that I will continue at that rate going forward. Um, I had a lot of sort of low hanging fruit in the beginning of when I started decluttering my fragrances, but um, and now I'm at a point where I kind of love everything I have and don't want to let anything go, but I'm still going to be doing my monthly um, fragrance trays and kind of figuring out uh, what I want to keep and what I want to sell or give away or just declutter. Um, and so yeah, that's where I am at with my fragrance collection. Another thing that I purchased in the month of February, I had my aunt and a friend visiting for the weekend. We had a little girls weekend. We did a little shopping. We went into a TJ Maxx and I walked out with one item, which was a shirt. Um, this is actually not the shirt. The shirt is in the wash right now, but this is one that's very similar. This one is from Madewell. Um, the shirt I got is just an oversized blue and white striped shirt that I have been getting a ton of use out of. And the difference between this one and that one, this one's more of like a crisp cotton white shirt and that one is more of like a crinkly um you know could, could wear it as a beach cover-up or just you know as a shirt um or a multitude of ways i've been really loving that shirt actually um which is why it's in the wash but yeah i love kind of this blue and white striped shirt i found that for such a great price and um so yeah that's really the only piece of clothing that I have purchased um, over these last three months. And the other thing that I have allowed myself to purchase quite a bit um, so far this year uh, have been books. I have found books really helpful in terms of my state of mental health and emotional health and I've been doing a lot of kind of soul searching lately and kind of um, revisiting some of my past trauma and um, really working through a lot of issues and trying to stay focused and positive and um, trying to see kind of the good in everything in life. And one of the authors that I have really kind of fallen hard for is Brianna West. I have four books of hers that I thought I'd talk about, um, not really get into each one of them, but um, The Mountain Is You, this is I think the most, no not, almost the most recent one on this. Um, this is a book about transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery. So this is really great at kind of looking at your and some of your habits and things that you do, your behaviors, and trying to, um, you know, work on it a little bit. Um, I've got here, I am the hero of my own life. This is another favorite of mine, a guide to getting out of your own way, which I think is really great and helpful for me. Um, and then these two books are sort of um, similar. Uh, one of them is called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. I featured this in a favorites video. I really, really love this book. This was the first book I had read from Brianna West, and it was really helpful. Um, and then the most recent book um, that I read is When You're Ready, This Is How You Heal. And um, I like that on the back here it says healing is not a one-time event, and this really gets into um, how to kind of help yourself work through anything that you have going on in your sort of emotional health um, and I have really found Brianna to be, or Brianna, I'm not sure how you say that, um, to be really inspirational in terms of her words. I have been following her now on Instagram and every day there is some sort of great um, 
you know, nugget of wisdom that I have really enjoyed. Um, very uplifting, makes me feel motivated, makes me feel inspired, makes me feel like, you know, it kind of is a reminder that I need to kind of stay in that mindset. And truly, I am a believer that mindset is everything. Um, all of the bad things I've been through in my life, it's really been my mindset um, that has helped me to conquer them. And um, I have, you know, fallen back into some bad, um, I guess, habits over the last you know, year or two, probably starting with um, the pandemic, but uh, I have really tried to kind of get control of that. And um, that has really helped me focus on something other than kind of scrolling on the internet and um, doing, you know, the volume of shopping that I was doing, which was absolutely crazy. Um, and the other thing that I have really been focusing on, and let me just grab a book. So the other thing that I have been focusing on is my um, five minute journal. So this is a gratitude journal that I spend five minutes in the morning, five Five minutes at night, um, kind of writing down things that I'm grateful for, things that, um, you know, exciting things that happened each day and things that I want to accomplish. And I find this really helpful in getting myself, again, in that right mindset every morning and every evening. Um, I, I don't know if it is this book that is helping me sleep or um, some of the supplements. I am actually taking some melatonin at night to help me sleep, but I have found that I am sleeping better and that was something I was struggling with the last year or so as my hormones have gone berserk and I have um, had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of night sweats, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so I'm eating better, I'm taking supplements, I'm trying to do all of the right things. Um, and then that kind of transitions me right into the other part of what I've been focused on is kind of changing my habits. I get up in the morning and instead of just scrolling on my phone and watching TV, um, I am now writing in my journal and then taking a walk or going or walking to the gym. I kind of go to the gym every other day or on opposite days, I just kind of take a longer walk in my neighborhood and just getting out into the fresh air, having a really good mindset. I usually will spray on a little one of my perfumes that I find to be really uplifting because I do, I am someone who really enjoys um, scent as a way of kind of you know, changing my mood or um, influencing my mood, I should say. And I just, yeah, I have just, really found these simple habits, um, the habit of getting up early and being focused on something positive, going to bed and focusing on something positive. And I do have this whole sort of nighttime routine. I'm trying to do a little more self-care. I've been kind of dry brushing and using lotions and spending more time just, you know, um, washing my face and doing my skincare routine and just sticking to healthy habits, getting myself into the right sort of mindset um, that has also probably been helping me to sleep well. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. Um, in terms, again, of the, uh, you know, low buy year, I think the two things that have really been working for me are, you know, changing my habits, like I said, but also using and appreciating what I have, which um, that is something that, you know, when you keep bringing new things in, you sort of have too much of everything and then you can't really focus on the good stuff. And I have found that um, whether it is, you know, things in your life or people in your life or, um, you know, the things that you enjoy, activities in your life, you really have to prioritize always kind of decline clutter and get down to the things that you really enjoy and that you want to be spending your time on, the people you want to be with, um, and the things that you enjoy the most. And so that's where I am at. Um, I'm going to be, I have already started my fragrance declutter, but I am going to be starting a really big um, closet declutter soon. And so I will be probably posting some clothes and things on Poshmark um, at a little bit Laura for anyone who may be interested. Um, but yeah, I'm trying again to really pay attention to what I'm consuming, um, what I'm using the most so that I can kind of figure out what I am not using the most and um, really kind of let that go, which it's taken me a while to get here, especially with um, the move a few years ago, coming to Florida and having a whole change of lifestyle. So I really want to just focus on the things that I truly love and use and enjoy and kind of declutter the rest. And I know I've said that a lot over the years, but I think, you know, moving to Florida, um, a few years ago, my lifestyle completely changed and um, 
it was also during the pandemic. So it was sort of like, um, I don't even know. I, I, I don't, e I really feel like life for me is so different now than it was. And I, it took me a while to kind of accept that and to be able to let go of some things and to be able to really know what I need to focus on because I was in sort of like so many people in a little bit of depression, a little bit of just confusion about, you know, or uncertainty about, uh, where, where my life was going and what things mattered the most to me. Um, and so I'm kind of getting there. So it is a process. Um, and so, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will continue doing these, like I said, quarterly, about quarterly, unless for some reason I should have some major change in my low by year or, you know, major change in my goals and things like that. But for the most part, I'm feeling really good. Um, it feels really good to work out, by the way. I should have mentioned that too. I've been working out. I've been intermittent fasting. And those two things have really helped. Um, and I will say that exercise for me, as I'm getting older is less about, um, you know, how, how my body is looking and more about how my body is feeling. Um, I really kind of feel like I can get to a point or I was at a point before I started working out regularly where I was a little bit achy. Um, I definitely lost a lot of flexibility and I'm realizing that as I have been, you know, doing some yoga and doing some things that have been, um, you know, missing in my life. And yeah, I will say that exercise is always a good idea. Moving your body is always a good idea. But now these days, it's more for me about sort of just functionality and less about kind of what I'm looking like, even though obviously it look it feels great to fit into smaller clothes and for things to fit you well, but I'm not getting as obsessive about it as I think I did in my younger years. So um, there's that as well. So that is my uh, quarterly update on my low buy as well as my health and wellness go goals for 2023. I will continue to do these um, about quarterly unless I should have, you know, like I said, a random sp spending spree or something should like really change in my, you know, goals and things going on in my life. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. And otherwise, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Have a great day.